Hello, Svengers. It's me, Svenny McGee, and today we're going to be looking at these guys. These are the Everlast Wii Boxing Gloves. <laughs> Let's take a look. All right, so as a whole, you can see here, this is a boxing glove. This does not have any discernible weight, but these are made by Everlast. They feel pretty good. It's kind of like a, I don't know that this is an actual leather. I'd say it's more of a pleather. You can wear it in a few different ways. So let's take a look. So first and foremost, you can put your hands fully into the glove. They have Velcro straps at the bottom to keep them snug against your wrist. And you can see that they have on the outside, you can insert a nunchuck here. See how it's slotted downwards? And you can slide a Wiimote on the back. Now why would you want it on the outside? Playing a, a game such as Wii Boxing, you can actually keep the controllers on the outside because you don't actually utilize any buttons. It's just a motion control. However, they have considered that you can take your fingers out and slide them on the internal. And if you want to keep them snug in there, you can slide your fingers through. Now this has a tapering to the bottom, I'm hoping you can pick that up, that we can fit the nunchuck right in the bottom there. And again on this side, we can fit the Wiimote right here. That would allow us to again be able to push the buttons and still use motion controls. Now before moving onward, again, I don't have the box or the instructions unfortunately, but it's nice there is a tag right on here and it shows you the different ways it calls an assembly diagram. So here it shows the things on the outside and on this side of the tag, you can see the assembly on the inside. Again, we'll take a look at that right now. Now today I've opted to use these blue nunchucks and Wiimotes. So I'm just threading the nunchuck string through the bottom. And then you can see it fits quite nicely right there. So if necessary, I can hold it internally while making the motions. So taking the Wiimote here, I'm going to slide it right into place and get this bottom part down just far enough. I can plug in the second portion from the nunchuck. So now let's get ready for action. You can see I got the two here. I got them lined up so these are ready and accessible by hand. But again, we're just playing Wii Boxing so we don't really need it ready. Over on this side here, I have a Wii U hooked up to this LCD TV. And I have my sensor bar down here, so I'll be aiming down here while playing the game. Now, unfortunately, I have a guest character on this Wii U, so I don't have any save progress, but today, it's just about getting the exercise in.
bring this all day long. So, of course, I'm sure many, many of you have seen Wii Boxing before. This is just simply a reminder of how fun it is and what good exercise you can get. As you see myself, I try and be animated with it. Actually, dodging helps you. And you know what? Every time I knock someone down, I try and jump right into like a, a skipping position. Using these in hand, obviously I'm not going to skip this, but using these in hand, it feels just like you got a skipping rope. Boom, look at my shadows, look at my shadows, shadow box, shadow box, shadow box. Lots of fun to be had here with this game. So again, thanks for checking this out. Again, this is just stage one in what I'm hoping to be a recurring exercise theme uh, video game series. So please follow through and uh, let's check out some other ones coming up. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for subscribing. As always, take care. Be good to each other. See you soon. Bye now.